Welcome fellow RVers. Today is the first Monday of February and as promised I am going to do product reviews on the first Monday of each month. Today I'm doing a review on the Panda XPB 36 washer. Uh, we've used it for quite some time and it works great and I want to pass that information on to you. So stay tuned. Don't go away. Okay, this is the Panda XPB 36. We store it in our bathroom and it doesn't take up uh, very much room. So it stands only about two feet tall and it is just under two feet uh, wide and it's about 16 inches deep. So we just leave it in our bathroom while we're... Okay, so the Panda washer comes with this short hose which hooks up to the faucet right up here you gotta slip it on there is a clip to help hold it in place but it doesn't fit on this particular sink so i kind of stick the tube in the sink and it stays put um, and then connect here to the water inlet for the washer side of things and then the drain hose which hooks on the side um, i run it into the shower now, if we were boondocking, I would be doing this outside. We have an outside kitchen, so we can use the sink out there. Or I can take a bucket of water and pour it in to the uh, washer um, without a problem either. You can just pour it straight in there uh, rather than doing the, the hose hook up to the sink. Either way, it uh, works out great boondocking. It doesn't use uh, very much water at all, so it's pretty efficient. And so let's uh, go ahead and uh, show you how the washer works. All right, so the water's filling in there. And just a little bit of soap. Not much. Doesn't take much. Now, let's uh, get all that. Now we fill it up. So we we used this quite a few times on our last trip and uh, it worked out very well. Uh, like I said, while we were boondocking, ran off the batteries through the inverter. See the thing is, it's the agitation goes, it goes back and forth. It goes one way, stops, and then goes the other way. So it's not a constant uh, power drain. Ran off our batteries and inverter just fine. And at that point in time, I think I only had 200 watts uh, of solar panels on the roof. And older batteries. Uh, now I have 300 watts up on the roof. Two uh, newer lead acid batteries. And that will run it all fine. Uh, we're still at the RV park, so we're using their water and electricity but this is still a lot more convenient because I only want to wash the pair of jeans all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and put my jeans in there I said it's the if we had a bunch of stuff we would use the laundry mat but I only got this one item we did laundry yesterday and uh, we missed this pair so needs to be washed by itself anyway because it's a new pair of jeans. It's probably going to bleed uh, the ink. So it's there on the faucet. Got to keep an eye on that so it doesn't pop off. It doesn't fit on our faucet very well. And your water fill level is to the bottom of this blue. It's supposed to be a filter right around here. So, like a lint trap. 
So it doesn't take long uh, to wash them. So I got it on wash. We're going to set the wash timer to about six minutes. Well, you can see the dirt coming out of there already. And I'll go ahead and turn the water off. So that looks like that's enough. And just let her run for the six minutes. Alright, so I drained the tub. What you do is you flip this switch to drain and then it pumps it all out and, and it all went into the shower. Uh, screwed up and so I didn't get that shot but um, a, lot, a lot of dirt and a lot of blue ink from the jeans so it's a good thing I didn't wash that with the other clothes. So now we're adding water. And then we're going to rinse it for six minutes. So just lukewarm water. Flip this, let's see, turn on the timer. Here we go. So actually, I had set the timer to three minutes, so I think that's all you need on the rinse. And that looks like there's enough water in there now. And we'll let that rinse close. Okay. Alright, so it's finished rinsing. I go that. Alright, so we're gonna flip this to drain. And all that comes out. So you use a couple of gallons when you uh, wash and then a couple of gallons to uh, rinse. It's, it really doesn't use that much water. If I really wanted to, I could wash two or three jeans in there at a time. Or a pair of jeans and a couple of shirts. So. This is the Panda XPB 36. And like I said, we bought it at the beginning of last summer, so that was beginning of summer of 2017, and used it on the trip, and it worked out very well. Used it off the batteries through the inverter. This doesn't drain uh, much power at all. Had no issues with it. Um, you don't have to use a sink like this with the hose. You can. Uh, get a bucket of water and just pour it in uh, same thing so, now I could have rinsed this on the spinner side of things by taking this water hose and connecting it there and then that water line will fill the spinner with water so either way and then you go by the sound and all the water is now pumped out so turn the switch to the middle position open this this is the spinner and there's the spinner basket the capacity of the basket is a little bit less than the washer side all right so now we just throw that in down in there push that down 
and then these come with this cover and you put that in there and push that down okay we'll close that there's an interlock so the spinner won't run uh, if the cover is open and we'll spin that out for three minutes and it runs at like 1500 rpm It's pretty quiet, but it, it seems to balance itself out in the load. And at 1500 RPM, any water that's in the jeans will spin out. I believe I paid about $150 uh, through Amazon uh, for this and I will provide you links uh, to it so you can get one yourself. I definitely uh, recommend these um, and when this comes out of the spinner it's like it's almost dry it's just damp so it does a really good job so hold on all right, so timer just shut off. Turn off the drain. And the spinner stopping. Remove that. And pull the jeans out. And I mean they're they're damp, but boy, it's uh, does a really good job of getting all that water out. So now we'll just hang it up to let it dry and let all the wrinkles fall out. So um, Panda Washer does an excellent job, and I would definitely give it a thumbs up.